Hey everybody and welcome. Just heading through the town of Landrum, starting my trip to Atlanta. I'm heading to Greg's tonight. Fact is, uh, Matt and Greg and I are having pizza down in Greer. Spend the night at Greg's. Greg and I are leaving early in the morning for Atlanta to pick up the Model Y at AP3. Should be a good run. The car here, which is the Polestar 2, is charged to 61%. I put it on the wall connector there for a little while to put a little charge in it, but after we get done messing around tonight, we'll plug it into Greg's Tesla wall connector using my Tesla tap. After you plug it into the Tesla wall connector, it provides a J1772 connection to the car. That way I can charge the Polestar here on the Tesla wall connector. We'll do that tonight. We are headed to meet Matt over at the pizza place. Are you hungry? Craig. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Well, and it's good pizza, too. Yeah. Real good a, pizza. We've eaten there a lot, so uh, we're going to be uh, eating pizza here with uh, Matt and Chris tonight, uh, which is good. We're at 52%. We're at 52% here in the Polestar. We'll get charged up at Greg's house a little later. Greg and I are just back from dinner, and uh, we will see you in the morning, bright and early. So here is the Tesla tap. Like I told you, this is the Tesla adapter. There is the J1772, and here is the wall connector, okay? Uh, it uh, plugs into the car. So first thing to do is take this and plug it all right, the Tesla wall connector is inserted into the Tesla tap. I'm trying to do this with one hand and uh, take the rubber off the front like that. This is not an automatic fuel door, so you have to physically push it, release it, and then we can take the Tesla tap here and insert it. All right. Okay, it locked, and if we look over here on the Tesla wall connector, it's doing its thing, and uh, we are now uh, green and flashing, so let's have a look inside now. So we are charging, um, looks like 45 amps here, and we'll do 48 because that's what it's at, and I'm going to set this to 100%. And I think we're good to go. We'll let this charge and we can monitor it. And uh, by the morning, we should be charged and ready to go. Uh, it's set for um, 48 max uh, coming from the Tesla wall connector. And uh, we're at 46 amps. I'm assuming that'll come up. 235 volts. There you go. We'll let this charge overnight and we'll be ready to head to Atlanta in the morning. Geez, just as I thought the winter was gone. Look at this, 38 <laughs> degrees. Holy mackerel. Well, we were charged to 240 predicted miles. If I look over here at the uh, range assistant, however useful that is, it says 230 miles. That's okay, I don't care either way, I don't think. I think we're ready to go. We'll be leaving uh, Greer here for uh, the AP3 here in a minute. Uh, trying to warm the car up. It was sitting outside on charge. We have a whopping 100% charge now, which is fine. It's predicting 240 GOM miles. That's guessometer. So we'll see how well it works. We've got, uh, what, 160, 50, 40 miles or so to go. So there you go. Greg, say something. Something important. 
<laughs> you gotta stop buying cars just for an excuse to drive to Atlanta is all I have to say. No, geez, I do I really? <laughs> <laughs> We're up for a good trip today. The sun's out. It's chilly, but that's all right. It'll warm up in the car and got lunch to go, so we're ready. Awesome. Well, here we are. We're hitting the road. Even in a Polestar, we have to have a Scottish breakfast. Yep, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we're hoping that we'll be able to get our breakfast here before we die of asphyxiation here. We are up here on Interstate 85. We are uh, in the traffic. Oh boy. Headed southwest. We're now further west here on Interstate 85. Clipping along, which is great. I just set the navigation up here. It says 14% upon arrival, 134 miles to go. And uh, the guesso meter says 170 miles of range. The uh, Google says there's 100 miles to drive and we arrive with 18%. So there you have it. It's a nice day. Tooling down Interstate 85. We're just leaving the fine state of South Carolina and entering the wonderful state of Georgia now. Welcome to Georgia. 14 miles now to our turnoff here in Atlanta. Getting close. Man, oh man, we've been everywhere here in Atlanta. It took us on a uh, detour to save two minutes or something. Anyway, uh, we're finally getting there. The good thing is, is uh, we just make sure that we follow Google. But we got the tour of Atlanta. We've arrived here at AP3, 17%. It's a pretty good prediction. I think it started with 13. We gained a few percentage. Let's look at some of the specs today. 153 miles, 40.5 kilowatt hours uh, divided by 100 miles, or 405 kilowatt hours per mile is what it is. Uh, make that 405 watt hours per mile uh, is when you do the proper calculation. A little over three hours, average 49 miles an hour. So it's not bad. The entire trip here in the Polestar was 610.4, where we picked it up here, drove it up to South Carolina, North Carolina, around all over, and back. So that worked out really well. Overall, uh, the Polestar 2 is a decent car. I uh, term it okay. The navigation being Google is really good. Uh, that's one saving grace. Uh, it's very legacy, as I reported last video, and I would say that uh, being uh, a decent car, uh, anybody would probably like it. This performance version, however, is very expensive. It's uh, like $65,000. I think for that price, you could buy a nearly full lo fully loaded uh, long-range Model Y, which I think would be a better deal. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, have some other stuff to say, but uh, let's go take a look at my uh, wrapped Model Y. Yeah, look what we found here. John just showed me their uh, latest uh, job here. It's a Lucid Air. Nice looking car.
John, I'd like to thank you for yet another awesome job on my car. What do you have to say? Uh, well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for, you know, talking about our business and, and, and coming to us again, you know, for your uh, Model Y. Um, it's a beautiful project. We covered the entire car in Expel Stealth. I'm sorry, uh, Expel Ultimate Plus. So it's a beautiful, glossy finish. Every single panel is protected. And um, you guys know where to find us. Alpharetta, Georgia. Uh, we're right here on Henbury Road. Um, come to AP3. You know, we're, we're the best in uh, PPF, ceramic coating, window tint. We have options for everybody. And I would confirm that. Thanks, John. All right, thank you. All right, buddy. Anyway, we're here in the new Model Y. Uh, it's been totally uh, PPF'd and ceramic coated. Uh, Greg and I are here, and uh, what do you think? This looks just like yours, except it's white, right? Boy, I'll tell you, it just pops. It looks absolutely fantastic. And I have to say, as much as I like my blue, which I really do, the white with black trim on this looks the bee's knees. It's awesome. I agree. It's really great. All right, well, now we've got to go home. And I will tell you that this particular seat is awesome compared to that <laughs> Polestar, which didn't have much padding at all. All right, so uh, we're going to navigate now, and uh, we are going to navigate to a place called Fair Play. Um, you can see all the chargers in and around uh, Atlanta here. All right, let's have a look at the navigation here to the superchargers. Uh, we're here, and as you can see, there is a bunch of uh, superchargers. Where we're going is a place called Fair Play. Uh, I'm not sure if that's it there. Oops, let's see. Yep, Fair Play. That's our destination. And uh, we've got 60%, uh, 92 miles to go to Fair Play. Our arrival percentage is 19%. We are good to go. Let's hit the road and get the heck out of Atlanta. Yeah, now they're doing another Mach-E. Good for them. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> hey, you guys ever seen a Tesla before? That's why you're over here, I bet. Yeah, this is the long range Model Y. Yeah, you'll see a lot of them. See you later. That Georgia Institute of Technology, what has more technology than a Model X? Nothing. We're working our way out of Atlanta here, trying to get to the interstate. Looks like uh, we're getting close here now. 77 miles now to the supercharger. We're at uh, 57%. And there is a heck of a lot of traffic here. And what we can't figure out, where in the heck is everybody going? There just can't be that much traffic here. It's amazing, absolutely. We're up here on Interstate 85 hitting northeast. And 51%, uh, our arrival percentage at Fair Play is now 28%. Came up from 19%. Nice day. Just leaving the great state of Georgia now, crossing over Lake Hartwell, one of the fingers here. And welcome to South Carolina. Looks like superchargers in 3.8 miles now. As you can see, welcome to South Carolina. We are just about ready to get off the interstate. This is Fair Play. Now take exit four on the right. This is the home of a new version three supercharger. Turn right towards South Carolina 243, Road 23. Then turn right onto Herring Road. Now turn right towards South Carolina 243. And you'll love this. Look at this. You have to turn right here. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Yeah. Oh well. Right onto Herring Road. Herring Road. Alright, we're here at the mobile. And uh looks like there's a couple of customers. We've got uh one count them one charge point. <laughs> okay. All these uh CCS cars are out there, they got one.
Now your destination is on the left. All right, just like normal, you pick your spot. Come on, you don't need to press the brake. All right, you uh, set up the uh, little lines here on the white between the two yellow lines. You just hold them there and you slowly come back right in the middle. Okay, now this is gonna be an interesting one because there's a baluster on each side that you have to back up on. And uh, it freaks out the car uh, because, all right, that should be good enough here. All right, we're here. Yeah, 35 minutes here. And uh, it's uh, going to go to the set point at 35 minutes. So if I look here, you can see we're at 90%, which is fine. And um, we're counting up on the current session, which is interesting because this car is under my account and I have free supercharging, but I think it ends up zeroing itself out here. All right, there we are, 195 kilowatts and uh, counting here. We're gonna have a little lunch. This is the Fair Play South Carolina Supercharger, version three, 12 stall, one pull in, and there are 11 back ins. There is one more DC fast charger right on the other side of the Model X, and it is a charge point. I don't know, it may be 62 kilowatts or maybe more, I don't know, I have to check. It wasn't active last time we were here, but if you're in a CCS DC fast chargeable car, you can come and charge up at that one there. Of course, if you're at a Tesla, the uh, supercharger is available. They're all version three, so there's no sharing of power. But there is one weird thing. Let me show you. This is the Wrap Model Y. See something really cool on it? Check this out. Look at that. A black T emblem. Hmm, where'd I get that? Turns out that AP3 will upgrade your emblems to black if you want. This is the interesting thing about this supercharger. Look at it. You back in, but there's a baluster by each one of the charge stands, and there is a, a bumper down below. And you need to carefully navigate and slowly back up between the balusters here. Isn't that cool? They do that, obviously, to protect the charge stands, but and moreover, if you follow the lines, you won't have any issues at all. We're just about charged here. I set it to 90%. Yeah, I would be home. I really don't need it, but I've got a lot of referral uh, miles here to use, and so I figured since we were charging, we just charged the 90%. Should be done here soon. Uh, the 90% translates into 293 miles. If you recall, uh, when I went across the Great Void in Missouri, a full charge 100% in my two-year-old Model Y was 283 miles. So uh, this uh, new car's got uh, more range to it, which is great. And I certainly could use it. All right, we're just about done here. Uh, one minute to go as indicated right here 12 kilowatts and there's 90 percent over on the meter it'll calculate here in a minute and it'll say i'm good to go you watch this here usually takes about 30 seconds or so there it is calculating remaining charge complete just like that we're out of here getting back on interstate 85 now now 10 miles to our off-ramp here just uh, abreast of Greenville South Carolina now on Interstate 85 we're off the highway now in uh, city of Greer gonna work our way through we're getting there now almost back to Greg's thanks for watching if you like this video click the like and I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe as I'm trying to grow my channel thanks for watching
I'll look for you in tomorrow's video and take care.